In this video, we're going to look at how to solve logarithmic equations. Um, there are going to be two guidelines uh, that are going to help us as we uh, go through this. The first one, if the equation involves a sum or difference of two logs, we are first going to write, uh, combine those two logs into a single logarithm using the properties of logs. Um, otherwise, if there is only one logarithmic term, we simply write the equation in exponential form. So let's see how this works out. In number one, we've got log of 2x minus 6 is equal to 1. So log of 2x minus 6 equals to 1. So this has got only one log term, so we're simply going to uh, go ahead and write this in uh, exponential form. Now, um, if you are not familiar with this, so when we have got a log like this and uh, nothing appears in the place of the base, it means this is a common logarithm. And common logarithms are to base 10. So that's going to be the base there. So... If we write this in exponential form, it means uh, 10 to the power 1 must be equal to this one. So 10 to the power 1 going to be 2x minus 6. So this is basically saying that uh, 2x is 10 plus 6. So 2x is 16. So x is 16 over 2, so x is going to be 8. So that uh, is how quickly this can work out. In the second one, we've got log 9, base x is equal to negative 2. So again, the base this time is unknown, x we got x to the power negative 2 must be equal to 9. So this is the same as 1 over x squared is 9. Or x squared is 1 over 9. x squared is 1 over 9. If we take the square root, it means x is going to be plus or minus 1 over 3. However, since x is the base, um, as far as the theory of logs and properties of logs are concerned, base can only be positive. So for that reason, we're going to write here only x is one third is acceptable because the base cannot be negative. Right, then going on to C, in C we have got log of 9x plus 4 minus log of x equal to 1. Again, these two terms are common log terms, so they are to base 10. Uh, in this case, we've got the situation where we've got two log terms. So the first thing we're going to do is to express those in terms of uh, in as a single log. So this is going to be log of 9x plus 4 all divided by x is equal to 1. You might want to, if you are not familiar with the properties of logs, uh, to have a look at one of um, our videos on properties of logs. We're going to put the link just now because uh, these are going to be uh, come quite handy in going on with solving um, logarithmic equations so as mentioned earlier uh, for common logs base is 10 so what this equation is telling us is that 10 to the power 1 is 9x plus 4 all over x then if we bring the x to the left hand side 
this is saying 10x is equal to 9x plus 4. Bring the 9x to the left hand side. 10x minus 9x is just x. So this one is giving us x is equal to 4. And then for d, we've got log of x base 2 plus log of x minus 1 base 2 is equal to 1. So again here, we have got two log terms. So we're going to go ahead and write them as a single log. Since this time is a sum, so log of x plus log of x minus 1 is log of x times x minus 1. Then writing this in exponential form is telling us that uh, 2 is equal to x into x minus 1. So 2 is x squared minus x. So if we bring everything to the one side, uh, this is what we have, which is a quadratic, which we can factorize. So this is going to tell us that either x is 2 or x is negative 1. Whenever we get uh, two solutions, uh, then it is always advisable to check with the original equation. So that is uh, exactly what we're going to do. So if we start with x is equal to 2, if we plug it into the original equation, it's going to be log 2 base 2 plus log 2 minus 1 is 1. Log 2 base 2 here is 1. Log 1 is 0. So uh, x equals to 2 looks to work just fine. Then for x is negative 1, if we plug into the original equation uh, just as soon as we do this term we realize that we're going to have a problem because we cannot do the log of a negative so log negative 1 base 2 says you need a power to which you must raise 2 to get negative 1 and that cannot happen so in general, we don't uh, do logs of negatives. So this solution here, we're going to have to discard. It's uh, what is called an extraneous solution. Okay, so we're going to say only x equals to 2 is acceptable. All right, so at this point, uh, we're going to give you a few uh, examples uh, to you for you to try um, if you just want to pause the video work through them and then when you continue with the video then you can compare with our solutions all right so if you would like to have a go at just uh, these uh, four exercises here uh, the first one got lean 4x minus 19 equals to zero the second one got log of 3x minus log of x minus 7 equal to 1. Fourth one got log of 4x plus log of x equal to 2. And the last one got log of x base 2 plus log of x minus 2 base 2 equal to 3. Which is what, pause the video, have a go. And then when you continue the video, you can compare with our solution. All right, uh, we now going to scroll down to our solutions for EFG and H. We would like to thank you for visiting our channel and uh, watching our videos. We do hope that they are really helpful. We do implore you to uh, subscribe to our channel to support the work that we do. If you've got any questions uh, and comments, you would be happy to hear them you can just post that at the comment section below 
All right, so for if we've got lean 4x minus 19, uh, now lean uh, stands for log base e. Um, so if we write this in exponential form, it's going to be e to the 0 equals 4x minus 19 e to the 0 is 1. So from here, we have got 4x is equal to 20. And so x is going to be equal to 5. Uh, this time we've got uh, common logs, we've got a difference of logs. So if we write this as a single log, it's going to be log of 3x over x minus 7. Um, so the base here is 10. So write this in exponential form. 10 to the power of 1 must be equal to 3x over x minus 7. And if we rearrange this, this is going to give us... Uh, 10x minus 70 is equals to 3x. Bring 3x to the left hand side gives us 7x. Take this to the other side, so that's going to give us x is equal to 10. Uh, here again, we've got uh, common log uh, terms, the sum of two common logs. So if we combine them, there's going to be log of 4x squared. So the base is 10. So this is telling us that 10 to the power of 2 is be equal to 4x squared. Dividing through by 4 is telling us that x must squared must be equal to 25 and so x is plus or minus 5. However, you're going to notice that when x is negative 5, then neither of this is going to make sense because we don't do logs of negative. So x equals to 5 only is acceptable uh, here we've got log base 2 so if we bring these combine them into one term that's what we have and so 2 to the power 3 must be equal to this gives us a quadratic which we solve and then again only the positive term is going to be acceptable all right thank you